So welcome back to the sack party. And everybody know once that horn goes off, it's time to partake. If you ever in a club and you hear this, you know it's about to go down. But again, with that being said, this is a sack party part two because one of my first videos was a sack party. And it was when the Ravens got like 11 sacks versus the Titans maybe two years ago. And this is sack party part two. We got seven sacks versus the, the Bengals um, Sunday. The wink was in his bag. We got sacks from different people. We got seven sacks from seven different people. Uh, DBs got involved in the party. Front line got some pressure. But what we're going to do in this video is we're going to put these sacks into two categories. Pressure sacks, meaning we got pressure with the guys that were blitzing. Or covered sacks, meaning the pressure may not have may not have initially got there, but because the coverage was coverage was so good, it became a sack because they just kept going, kept going, kept going. So without further ado, hey, let's get started. Alright, welcome back to the channel. Again, I'm Coach Evans, and um, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And once you subscribe, slide on over and hit the bell notifications and click all. That way you can be notified when I drop these videos, whether they be random or not. Um, you'll be one of the first ones to know. You'll be part of that Noti game, and you can actually comment first, like so many YouTubers do. Um, but again, let's get into this uh, Winks bag, so to speak. Not my bag, hit a Winks bag, because he was definitely in here Sunday. And uh, check out these sacks. First one up is uh, Jimmy Smith. Let's see where Jimmy's at. Uh, let me highlight Jimmy for all to see. If I'm not mistaken, this is Jimmy right here. Let's check him out. Knowing he's coming because he's in a sprinter stance. I don't know what Giovanni Bernard just tried to do. I look at the back view so we can kind of figure it out. Now, if I'm Gio Bernard and I got a chip first, I know this dude ain't covering me because look at what kind of stance he is. Who played DB in that kind of stance other than Dion? Nobody. So he got to be coming. Bills and Titans. I ain't trying to see the Bills and Titans. Get off my screen. There we go. That fake chip by um, Bernard. Now, Jimmy looked back like, I don't know if Jimmy knows if he's supposed to be going or not. I guess he's checking to see if somebody covered him before he decides to go. Look back, somebody covered him. Queen got him, so let me go on down. And he just basically, you know, gets the sack off of, <laughs> I'm in the right place at the right time. Let's look at the coverage. So this is when he looks back and realizes that Queen has Bernard. He's covered. He's covered. He's covered. He's covered. He's coming across, but that guy's on him. And this dude right here, double team. Cover sack. Look like a cover sack to me. Look like a cover sack to me. Let me write it down so we can keep up with this. So beside Jimmy Smith, we write coverage. So I'm going to just write C. That pen don't work. There we go, C. All right, let's move on to play two. Got to let this run. It's a long clip. I didn't chop them up into individual plays this time. I'm trying to get the package out. But it's just crazy how he, not sure if he got him or not, then checks to see if somebody else got him. You got him? Okay, I'm coming. <laughs> That's what it looked like. All right, let's go on to play two. Play two is uh, Queen. Patrick Queen. Let's see if we can identify Queen. Queen is right there. There's Queen. Let's peep him out what he do from the, the wide angle. Tries to time it. Runs a stunt. Gets blocked a little bit. Just keep going. Bam. He got the trifecta. The sack, the strip, and the fumble recovery. He got the trifecta. Queen is going to kind of hang and chill right here. When the ball snapped, 
coming all the way. I got a mouse pad. That's why my, my drawing is jacked up. He's coming all the way over here. All the way over there. That's a long stunt. So Camel's going down. Chuck Clark going down. Judon's going down. Queen is looping on all of them. And the funny thing is, the guard on this side sees him. Or is it the tackle? Let's see who, who sees Queen going over. Let's see who that is. I don't know if it's the guard or the H-back back, back there. That's the H-back. This guy right here, he sees Queen. Sees all this picked up. And he just going to shuffle on over. Try to block Queen. And he does a good job of pushing him by. But the ball not out. Does a good job of pushing him by initially. Queen just keep going, keep going, keep going. Bam. Sack from a recovery. So again, let's bag this on up. See if there's a cover sack. See where they at. See if there's a cover sack. Come on, act right. Act right. All right, here we go. So let's play it right there. All right, covered. Definitely covered. <laughs> That's one, two, three, four. That's five guys in the middle. He definitely covered. And he covered. Covered sack. Because we didn't get the off initial pressure. Got the off secondary pressure. Put a covered sack beside that. Two covered sacks. None off initial pressure. That's the end of that play. When he jacked his old college teammate up. He got the bragging rights back bragging rights for the time being. Play three is Pernell McPhee. But this may be the first one we get like initial pressure. McPhee is here. McPhee is there. Rushing four. Ooh, great push by McPhee and Brandon. But we got a pressure sack. All right, people. We got us a pressure sack. Let's see it from the back end. We got us a pressure sack, which is what we've been asking for. We got a sack with four, which is what we've been clamoring for for two years. We get pressure with four. McPhee's on the left end. Sizes him up, tries to rip a bundle, gets a little bit of leverage right there, and fights through. Fights through. Now, he didn't he didn't win like like overpower his guy. He didn't overpower his guy. But let's check out why Pinell got that set. This is the reason. Watch Brandon just push this dude. Push him. Every with every step, every step Brandon takes, this dude go back. So when Joe tried to step up, he don't have nowhere to go. And then he tried to step out. McPhee's right there. Back. 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 Now you got to try to step up. Where you going to step up to? Nowhere. Nowhere. Now let me get out of here. Boom. Right there to McPhee. We got pressure with four people. And we didn't even get it with the... We, <laughs> Wolf not in. Camel's not in. Judon is way over here. We got pressure with two guys that we really ain't talking about getting pressure with. McPhee and 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 um, ninety what was that? I think that's Justin. I think that's Williams. I mean Brandon. I said Justin. I think that's Brandon. Yeah, we got pressure with two guys. We think about getting pressure with. And Bouquet got a little pressure. He double teamed. Judon over there spinning on people and, and still getting blocked. So we ain't gonna speak on Judon though. We're just gonna. Let him go over there and do his thug fizzle and not get home. Okay, let me speak with you. Next play. <laughs> so this is the fourth sack. Oh, that's um, that's not a cut. That's a pressure sack. So we put a P right there. All right, two to one coverage. This is the Joker sack. Where is? Where are you, Joker? Where are you? It said, "Hey, you go right there in my face." Right there. Right there. Let's see what happens. Campbell's in. I think that's McPhee up top. I 
Oh, just clean. Just clean. Great pressure. Great job, Bud Wink. Great job of scheming it up, Wink. Just clean pressure. Clean pressure. He's outside the C gap, but he's blitzing through B gap. Uh, Campbell has the C. Uh, somebody else has A, and they just out scheme him. Campbell widens out to a five. Judon's at the one. So really right now, you don't know who coming. You know, I mean, pre-snap, you think there, 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 and there. That what you're thinking. And so you got to, you know, kind of think that, think that, and think that. Conventional football. That's that's the gaps pre-snap. Conventional football. Ball snap. They Campbell and um, uh, Joker switch. So Campbell stays outside. Joker folds inside. Uh, this guy picks up Chuck Clark. I think Judon is dropping to wall. Who, Judon is dropping the wall one of these receivers, I think. Yes, Judon is dropping the wall. So Judon should, wh whoever this is, Judon should let him cross his face. Chuck Clark. I mean, not Chuck Clark. Joker, free. Bam. And it, it sounded bad on, on TV, too. Sounded like he jacked him up. Sounded, I mean, it sounded, it was like a fat. You know, with no fan, a lot, not a lot of fans being there. It was a watch cop. So, that's not coverage. That's pressure. Even though it was with a DB, that's pressure. So, in, in my eyes, that's 2-2. Two, two. two coverage sacks, two pressure sacks. Even though that was with more than, was, let me go back. Was that with more than four people? Because some of them guys folded up out of there. Let's see. One, two, three. That's with five. That's a five pressure. Because you got Campbell, Joker, Clark, Wolf, McPhee. So we brought five. Okay. Let's see if we can get to the next play without messing it up. All right. This one should be Marcus Peters' sack that we should have got this fumble on. But where Marcus at? Where Marcus dialing at? I think this is him right here. Marcus, dog. That was funny. Boomerang. On the line. Cat blitz. Probably getting a cat blitz. Oh, yeah. Clean. Untouched. Well, touched a little bit. In initially, almost had it. Got pushed by the QB and came back and uh, swatted at the ball. Let's see it from the back view. Peter's not even in the screen. Peter's is going to be coming from this area. Bringing six. No, bringing seven. Is that seven? So one, two, three. Let me. One, two, three, four, five. Look like coming from, from over here, which would be six. And I don't know, and, and Peters would be seven. So yeah, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What Queen doing? Queen got the back or something? What Queen doing? Yeah, Queen's trying to follow eight to nine. All right. They even bring, this is, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is Avery right here coming off this right edge. So now he's untouched, but he gets chipped at the end. Joe steps up. Not a lot of pressure up the middle, so he's looking downfield, looking downfield, got time. Now Marcus Peters coming back. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this is probably coverage. Let's let's check the check the other one and see. Let's check the different view and see. Let me go back. Bring it on back. Bring it on back if we got it. All right. So let's check it when Peter, Peter's missing now. So at this point, he's covered. He is still running the route, so you can't really throw it to him because we don't know what he's cutting at. Now Joe has, has missed. The sack has been missed. Nobody's open. Two-man route. Two, it's only a two-man route. They cover. Coverage. 
And I will say pressure if, if Peters would have got the sack initially. But the fact that he missed it and had time to come back, that's a coverage sack. So three cover sacks, two pressure sacks. Let's move on to the sixth sack, which is Chuck Clark. Oh, Chuck Clark. Get the ball, somebody. Harrison, somebody. Matt Bouquet, Ferg, somebody get the ball. Smart play by um, Joe Mixon, though. Once he realized they didn't want to pick it up, to slap it out of bounds. All right, this is uh, Clark. Where you at, Chuck? Where you at, Chuck? I can't spot you, Chuck. I don't know where you at. Uh, this may be Chuck. Right there. It might be Queen. I don't know what Chuck at. I don't hear. I can't find him. Yep, found him. Came off the edge. He ended up coming off the edge. He was the edge guy at the top. This is Chuck right here. That's Chuck Clark. Moving around, communicating, talking, communicating. Play action. All right, on initial play action, whoever this is, Marlowe got him locked up. Coming across, good trail position, locked up. Chuck Clark coming from deep, gets chipped off. Everybody still look locked up. Chuck Clark keep fighting for the sack. So, again, I'm going to say coverage. And here's the picture. Locked up. Double teamed. And Joe would have to come late to this guy over here. Which I don't even think he was in the field of play because he was. they trying to run stuff down Joe's vision. You got this crosser going that way, him going that way. So, they're trying to keep his line of sight kind of the same. So this dude probably not even my option because this is the guy he faked to. So, coverage. Bringing heat and covering like this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough to be the team doing this. You bring in heat and you can cover. It's going to be tough. And the last sack goes to Humphreys. Marlowe got in on the sack party. Brought the heat. Another cat blitz. Another cat blitz. This is Marlowe right here in the slot. Playing it off, being cool, being casual, like the cool dude he is, just chilling, lounging, you know, kicking the actual factual. Ball snap, boom, beeline, untouched, unseen, untouched and unseen. Because he played it all so cool. So cool, you don't even see him. You know, we bring four, Marlowe's the fifth guy. Joe never even seen. Never even seen. When he saw he saw him at the last second. Last second. And so with that being without him missing, this is to me this is a pressure sack. It's a pressure sack. I mean the initial your initial um route concepts were not open. They got four men in the route. Four men in the route. The lead, this this route is coming to two people. I mean, he's still running straight. He like he breaking down to maybe curl or come back. And he's running the end. I mean, technically this this dude right here is open. Technically, if you want to throw that, technically. But I don't know what number he is in the progression. And he, honestly, at this point, the only dude he could throw to is him. Cause Marlo about to clean his clock if he step up. But he sees him and ducks. So I really. It's a pressure sack because he no, Marlo didn't miss, but it's pretty darn good coverage. Pretty darn good coverage because say he running this corner route. Averett's in good position to sink on that. Uh, he run the end route. This guy's in good position to come up on it. He run this end route. He's in good position to come up on that. Uh, this, if this is a comeback or whatever, he's under it. Uh, and if he do jump that and they try to throw the comeback, he's in good position to break on that. Hey, Wink got it right this week, buddy. That's all I can say. Ain't nothing bad I can say about what Wink Martindale did. Wink Martindale. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, nothing I can say bad about what he did this week, man. And again, uh, this is Coach Evans with Simply Tally Films. Uh, back with the Sack Party Part 2. 
And um, you know what happens at the sack party. Let's get it popping one more time. <laughs> in the club, that's the that's the money dance. But again, this is Coach Edwin with Simply Tyler Films. See you when I see you, man. Peace.